internet. Many early Nintendo games were difficult to finish due to their arcade ancestry, and I think Kirby's Dream Land is what changed that. The game was created by Masahiro Sakurai of Super Smash Bros. fame, and was programmed using a trackball and an on-screen keyboard. The game is a fairly simple and easy to pick up and play platformer, with a flying mechanic that lets you break the already small amount of levels. There are plenty of unique ideas here, such as Kirby's signature ability to swallow and spit out enemies. The game is around a half hour long, with five levels, each one with a unique boss to fight, including one that's a literal tree. There's also a pretty high amount of post-game content for a Game Boy game. After you beat the game, you get a button combination to unlock Extra Mode, where it changes certain enemies and makes boss patterns much more difficult to deal with. If you manage to beat that, you unlock a configuration menu for the game. So you can go through extra mode with one life and one hit point. I wouldn't even wish this on Shadow Henry. Regardless, Kirby's Dreamland is a great game for beginners that still offers challenge to more experienced players. 